What's poppin' peeps? Welcome back to the Zach Lesage YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be going surfing with Surfing Pikachu VMAX. You are now watching Zach Lesage, the best place to learn about competitive Pokemon TCG. Let's get it! So we're gonna call the coin flip here, and we lost the coin flip. So we're gonna be playing against our good pal PJ from the Shuffle Squad. Let's see exactly uh, what they decide to flip over. Now, we don't have any basics, so we're gonna have to put this hand back into the deck and see what's up. But we're hoping to get off this flying, or this surfing Pikachu VMAX. And I mean, there's surfing Pikachu, there's flying Pikachu. We're gonna go with surfing Pikachu today. See exactly what we can do here. Now, Max Surfer is gonna be doing 160, doing 30 to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Hopefully they're playing a deck with Sobble, or hopefully they're playing a VMAX deck that has 320 HP. These are pretty common things in the metagame, which gives Surfing Pikachu VMAX an opportunity to see some success. And I mean, overall this hand looks actually pretty good, um, so I have no issues at all. Uh, no reason to bench another Sobble at all either. So we're going to go ahead here and uh, leave it to PJ. I'm on the fence if I want to play this Sobble or the 70 HP Sobble. Um, it, I go back and forth because I could also see myself using Keep Calling over and over again. So they are playing a deck with Sobble, but they didn't get anything else out. So we're going to have to see what's going on. Let's go level ball first to see what we can grab out of this deck. Now, I'm debating using Professor's Research. Uh, the new Professor Oak one that I think is absolutely awesome. And seeing if we want to do anything with that. Now, I think the best play for us is to... Kind of thin the entire hand down get fully set up we only have one surfing pikachu v but if we are able to get that set up relatively quickly we could be in a great spot um, so let's let's try to make this all happen we can't ever invent another surfing pikachu so we're gonna go ahead and grab a snore rent we're gonna go all all ahead here with our plans so we're gonna actually get a full board state and we also have suicune v as a backup attacker it's going to allow us to attack. So let's grab the Surfing Pikachu V. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pitch a Surfing Pikachu V Max. Uh, but sometimes you got to uh, lose some things to get set up. We do have three Drizzles. I did want to make sure. So always make sure when you're going through your deck, just uh, search everything out. So we are going to go give that full Professor Oaks research um, a full send here. Now, we did not get any bench Pokemon or uh, any energies or anything else extra from that. We're going to leave it like this. There's really not too much that we want to be doing at this point. Let's go ahead and pass. Now, it is possible for us to attack next turn, technically. Um, if we're able to go Melanie, Frostlass, and Attach Energy, we can start attacking with the Surfing Pikachu VMAX. That's really where our options lie. We want to attack into the Dragapult first, so let's keep that in mind. And we did find out we're playing against a Dragapult deck as well. So that's one of those things where um, this is a very popular deck, and this is a deck that's new to the game, like literally released less than a week ago. Let's see if it's going to be able to work. Um, I spent a lot of time working on this deck while a lot of content creators kind of jumped right into it. I think that my deck is awesome. Um, I've been testing it a lot and put a lot of hours into this one, and I really wanted to like craft it because I think it's really good. It, it's not just one of those ones that I just wanted to cover. I think Surfing Pikachu VMAX is viable. Now, you might not see me playing it in a tournament tomorrow. You might not see me um, suggesting it automatically, but it is one of those things where I think it's very good. Um, so, first and foremost, we want to evolve into a Drizzile, so let's see how that's going to work out. Let's go Drizzile here. And we're going to evolve this one so that we can um, do something. Now, we can start attacking with our Suicune. So at least we have an attacker. I think that sounds like a really good idea. Um, so here we need... Actually, you want to... We can't even do that because we don't have the extra energies. Ah! We, we don't have energies in our hand. That's the biggest issue. So we need to go Capacious Buckets. And we'd have to grab a Quick Ball. Quick Ball wouldn't do anything. We'd have to grab Quick Ball and Melanie. So we don't have enough cards to make it all happen, actually. So let's just go for Capacious Bucket. Grab a couple Water Energies. We're going to attach one to the Surfing Pikachu. We're going to 
scoop up net this drizzile into this. We're gonna get set up with some more sobbles because we just need to. I think this one's gonna get knocked out, so let's uh, keep that in mind when it comes down to it. Probably should have sent that one up first because it would have given us an extra spot to drizzle, but whatever. Uh, let's let's see exactly what we can go for here. Now that surfing Pikachu might be a bit of a hassle for us, so let's see how we can get set up with it. Um, maybe Quick Ball is the best play, and we can kind of get set up a little bit more. I think I want to play Marnie at some points. So I'm debating what is the best way for us to deal with this. Now, Air Balloon's not really going to be doing too much. Air Balloon is going to be searchable out of the deck. And we have Switch and Scoop of Net to get out of the active spots. Um, I think our best option here... Quick Ball's not going to really search for too much. Um, I think I just want to grab the Surfing Pikachu VMAX. And just kind of commit to this one. It's the only one that we have. So let's see what we can get going on here. So a little bit of a slow start for us because we started seconds, we missed an energy, and we're not necessarily getting the energies fed to us. We did prize quite a few um, when it came down to this. And I mean, our hand here is quite good to make things happen. I think we should be able to get fully set up and attacking with the Surfing Pikachu VMAX next turn uh, because we have all the level balls to evolve into Drizzles. So we're going to go ahead here and pass. Now, this is a Pokemon that does have 320 HP when it turns into a VMAX. So if we can hit the VMAX twice, we should be in a relatively good spot. Um, so we're going to have to see exactly what um, PJ can do here. Maybe they're just going to attack with Jet Assault and we martyred them into nothing. But it doesn't look like that. It looks like they're going to be able to grab out a Drizzile and get fully set up. And that's okay. That's completely fine. Um, this is an awkward matchup. And I do want to just see how far we can make it happen. Because we spread and do more damage than them once we're set up. So as soon as we're starting, as soon as we're able to start um, taking some prize cards and things like that, and we can get another Surfing Pikachu VMAX set up, we could be in a better position than them. Now, the biggest worry for me is if they could ever get a one-shot on the Surfing Pikachu VMAX. And when I say one-shot, it's because they've put their damage counters on there. So it's not really a true OHKO, but they did target it enough. So we'll see exactly if PJ targets the Surfing Pikachu VMAX or where the damage is going. Looks like uh, just taking out double Sobble is really the play here for PJ. And this is another thing where the Sobbles might not matter with 70 HP. If PJ is putting the full damage there, it doesn't matter. And you can see that PJ put the full damage there. Anyways, someone's got to watch their damage counter placements. I'm sure when they rewatch this video, they're going to be like, what was I doing? Um, we, need to get an, we need to get two energies on this Pokemon. First and foremost, that's our goal. Um, how are we going to get there? That is really the biggest issue that we will have to deal with. Currently, we do not have water energies in our discard pile. So we are going to not be able to attack this turn, I don't think. Um, we can get Capacious Buckets. We can pitch Water Energies away. Um, but that means that we just will not have enough to get this set up. We go with Frost Last. Oh, actually, you know, we do get the... We can get it. Um, we are in a bit of a sticky situation when it comes down to it. Um, but let's go ahead here and go Capacious Buckets. That's literally our only out, because I forgot that we could attach normally for our turn. Uh, so sometimes you can catch yourself making a mistake. It's always good to just double check, think out your plays, because it's not always the way that you want them to be. Uh, we are going to grab a Suicune V out of the deck, because we really don't have a backup attacker. Let's go for Frostlass. Frostlass is going to allow us to accelerate this energy, and this is really where the strategy goes. You're able to kind of get an extra energy if you need it. Um, normally, it's good if you had zero energies and you go Melanie, Frostlass, Energy, but sometimes we don't necessarily have that. So Frostlass is going to allow us to power ourselves up. We don't want to do anything else with Level Ball, and we really want to scoop up net anything that's going to take damage. I would normally scoop up net a Drizzile to put a Sobble back down, but with their Quick Shooting and Teleon, I think they're actually going to put themselves in a position where they can knock us out relatively quickly um, and just knock out the Sobble. So we would just give PJ a free prize card. We want to hold on to as many prize cards as possible, and we're really just spreading damage with Max Surfer doing Surfing Pikachu things. It's not always the easiest matchup. It's not always... Um, 
the most difficult matchup. I think serving Pikachu VMAX, again, if you if you get it out earlier, if we got this out one turn earlier, I think we'd be in a much better position. And that's kind of the best way that I'd put it. I think serving Pikachu was a little slow to start, a little chonk for the surf. But if we're able to heal this Drizzle, it's it doesn't seem like it's the worst. Ooh, boss's order does sound uh, pretty nifty. Now, we are going to take 20 damage. Um, I think PJ will be able to get the knockout on this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and do this. I mean, we're in, a, we're in an incredibly awkward spot uh, because of the horror psychic energy and the extra damage and all that good stuff. So it does really add up. We don't want to put the Sobble down because there's four prize cards left. But we are going to go Max Surfer, and we are doing a lot of damage to PJ's Pokemon. Um, if we do somehow survive this attack, we are in a pretty solid spot. I think we actually can win the game if PJ does not get the knockout somehow. And he might not have it. It was just a pretty easygoing attack. And sometimes, like, you just kind of get stuck in an awkward hand. So there's the energy. Is that going to bring Jet Assault active? That might make it really tough for us if uh, Jet Assault happens, because Jet Assault does 140. It actually does more damage. So Jet Assault would get us the knockout. We need to hope that PJ does not find a scoop of net or a switch, um, because I think we'd be in severe trouble, especially if they target onto the Drizzile. There's that. That's enough damage for the knockouts. No. Maybe they're just trying to build up the extra damage on the Surfing Pikachu just because that's the best Pokemon to kind of build up. We might see a pass here. Now, we actually, I think we take the dub because we bring up the Dragapult and we knock out the Sobble, taking four prize cards in one turn. So we're going to give uh, the well played and we're going to go boss's orders there. Bring this up. Again, 160, we have the perfect numbers to make everything happen. So you can see how Surfing Pikachu really does extra numbers and gets the knockouts. Um, so a little bit of an unfortunate ending for PJ. Um, otherwise, well played by him. It, it's one of those uh, crazy games where Pikachu took the rebounds. So we're having a rematch against PJ. And this time, PJ's like, okay, you want to know what? I'm going to try out my other deck against you. And I'm like, that's sick. Let's let's see exactly what's going on. We lost the coin flip again. Uh, the coin flip's really not uh, with our luck, but that's okay. We'll see if we can get a pretty decent start. And you wonder what this looks like a pretty decent start. We're actually going to start with Suicune V in the active. Uh, just because we have access to Melanie, we have Quick Ball, and we have a Water Energy. So if we want a Capacious Bucket or a Water Energy, we can quickly turn and pivot our deck into a Suicune deck. We also get the addition of uh, Fleet Footed. Oh, Lotad. Maybe uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see exactly. Suicune and Lotad. Uh, guess that's what we're going to be playing against. Should be sick. Um, okay. Again, not really much with the start, but let's uh, let's see exactly what we can get here first. Now, we want to be searching for water energy, so we're actually going to quick ball our water energy away first. Um, I don't think it's worthwhile. We're doing, what, 20 plus 20. We can get a quick knock at actually. Um, if we get the right thing. So let's go for Surfing Pikachu, actually. I think that sounds like a good plan. We're going to get that built up. Um, we have access to seven waters. So we apprised, I think, one water off the top of my, off the top of my head. Um, let's go Fleet Footed first before we commit to our supporter. Uh, Ta-da! There's our water energy. Let's get it. Uh, we Yeah, so let's go ahead and go 20 for each bench Pokemon. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick knockout with Suicune. Really kind of pivoting to a different kind of strategy. So, not much going on with the whole Drizzile Sobble selection, but it is showing that this deck can be very similar to a Suicune deck. And I mean, we are playing against a Suicune deck. We do have type advantage. Maybe PJ doesn't realize that this is a lightning type Pokemon. It'd be kind of funny. I mean, it takes water type energies. It looks very blue, uh, but it is a lightning type Pokemon. I do want to let everyone know that. So, it is weak to fighting type. And this is weak to lightning type. So at least if you're playing against a deck with different weaknesses, you have different kind of things to set up. And you can kind of take advantage of your opponent's slow starts. You can take advantage of uh, just small Pokemon like this. Like, PJ might have to go call for family. And these are one of those things where I know some of y'all are going to be like, this ain't a great game, Zach. Um, I think it is at the same time. Like, I think it's truly one of those games where 
we see exactly what's going on here and we're able to kind of show what surfing pikachu vmax can do against a real situation where we're playing a real game this is unedited one take uh sometimes it just be like that sometimes i flip over and my hands dead 10 times right these are the first two takes that i've taken with the deck um, for recording and i'm beyond ecstatic to see everything kind of play out the way that it's playing out now before i do anything i kind of want to go fleet footed um, before I use Drizzile and see exactly if there's something else we can grab. I'd like to start powering up this Surfing Pikachu VMAX, um, but we're always just like one turn away. So you wanna know what, we're gonna go ahead and go Drizzile. I think Drizzile sounds like a pretty good call. Uh, I wanna grab a Level Ball here. The reason why I wanna grab Level Ball is because Level Ball is going to allow us to grab out more Sobbles. Um, Sobble game is weak right now. If we had more Drizziles, we'd actually almost be close to attacking with a Surfing Pikachu VMAX this turn. Cape of Toughness is really for this weekend, so we're gonna pop that on that Pokemon. And as much as I really like this hands, and we have the Drizzile and all that, I wanna go Marnie because we don't have enough stuff to really continue on with what we have. Whereas this hand is a lot better. Um, so you wanna what? I think we're going to... Do we want to have that water energy in the discard pile or not? That's the big question. Um, I think the answer is going to be, I'm going to keep it because we have Quick Ball. We can always kind of search for a Melanie or search for other things. We're going to go Blizzard Rondo and take care of the Ludicolo action. So I think um, Peach is now going to have to play with a low bench if if uh, he is able to power up his Suicune. And I mean, we do have the Serving Pikachu VMAX to kind of overcome it. So. Even though Serving Pikachu VMAX is kind of, um, I don't, I don't want to say like meme status, but I know a lot of players might not take this deck super seriously. It does have strong matchups against powerful decks like Suicune. Like Suicune's a top three deck in the format. And there's the Suicune Ludicolo deck. There's the Suicune Inteleon deck. There's the Suicune Ice Rider deck. Like it's played in quite a few decks and quite a few things are weak to lightning type. Um, so keep that in mind when you're actually choosing this deck that you could actually run into matchups like this and they could be relatively free like this even if pj set up um we do ohko and do 30 damage to all the bench pokemon with surfing pikachu and here's a little bit of a comeback for the suicune deck really showing how powerful the deck can be i think we're able to kind of overcome things and really attack um viciously in this matchup i think that's going to be uh really helpful so our game plan right now, again, is going to be Surfing Pikachu VMAX, Respond, OHKO, Checkmate position um, against PJ, which really shows how powerful Surfing Pikachu VMAX is in this matchup. So I, I like it. It's it, it's cool. And we're going to continuously just kind of uh, work with that. Actually, one of my, it's probably my personal favorite card out of Celebrations. Uh, because I was definitely like little Zach with a uh, surfing Pikachu V, uh, kind of the spiritual reprint here. Um, back in the day, I remember uh, one of my first days at League, I was constructing a water type deck. My upstairs neighbor was like, "Yo, surfing Pikachu V would be, or surfing Pikachu would be sick in your deck because it takes water energies instead of lightning energies, and it gives you different typing. Like, there's certainly advantages uh, to be had. So I think we actually have all the cards here. We're gonna go with Drizzle first and double check. Um, Do we have the other Inteleon? We do, so we can grab that. So we're gonna grab a Capacious Bucket, so we have an extra water energy. We're gonna make sure that we can grab an Inteleon with our Evolution Incense. And that's gonna grab a Melanie and a Switch. And we're gonna be able to attack, um, putting ourselves in a really good position. So let's go Capacious Bucket. Capacious Bucket all the way. We're gonna go Quick Ball, Quick Ball away the Lightning, or the Water Energy so we can get it in there. Let's go ahead and grab another Surfing Pikachu. Um, I think that sounds like a great plan. So we could just get another one powered up to kind of further checkmate ourselves or checkmate uh, PJ in this game. Let's go Inteleon. We're going to go Inteleon. Shady Dealings. Search our deck for a Melanie and a Switch. Also, we can't forget about Fleet Footed. It's one of the most forgettable abilities because it's like, oh, you just draw one card, right? Uh, we're actually going to go Level Ball here first, too. Grabbing out a Sobble, just so we're ready to get set up. Let's go Melanie, power this up. And attach, switch, Max Server. 
So there's a the knockout. We're now down to two prize cards. Now, PJ playing a Suicune deck, if PJ attacks with Suicune against this, cannot hit for 310. We would win the game automatically. So keep that in mind of how powerful and dominant surfing Pikachu VMAX can be in this particular matchup. I do want to give a quick shout out. Um, so like I said, PJ is part of the Shuffle Squad. I'm part of the Shuffle Squad. If you haven't got a chance to check it out, check it out, the YouTube channel. So this is what we got going on for the deck today, peeps. I think the deck played out really well. Um, just so everyone knows, this is kind of going to be my new style of doing videos, where we're going to jump right into gameplay, cover the deck afterwards, just so we can kind of explain some of the mechanics that we saw. So the main strategy is going to be using Max Surfer over and over again, 160, um, doing 30 to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. The 30 damage really adds up, and it's a quite it's quite powerful. Um, one retreat costs 310. You're able to do kind of two shot V maxes with the 160, kind of team up on Sobbles and other little low tads and stuff like that. Like you saw in those games that I played against PJ, that doing 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon is huge. Um, we have Frostloss. I think Frostloss is a nifty tech. I robbed this from Tord Reckliv himself, where Tord Reckliv posted on the channel Fireball video um, for Ice Rider a few months back. Uh, and I was like, oh, you want to what Frost Loss would be really good here in a way that we can kind of power up three energies in one turn, which could be quite necessary if you start with a Surfing Pikachu VMAX going into your turn with no energies attached. Um, I think I might want to switch these to the 70 HP Sobbles. It might be better considering this does cost three energies. Although we do have the ability to power up three energies in a turn, I go back and forth if I like Keep Calling or the HP. In the games that we played, the HP didn't really matter, but in other games it might, so I do want to keep that in mind. Drizzile, of course, is going to be able to search out all of our trainer cards throughout the game, and it's one of the most powerful and dominant engines we have in the game. Of course, Shady Dealings being the same, kind of ability just doubled up, makes this Inteleon a must. Quick Shooting allows you to target down on Pokemon with Max Surfer, so you can kind of get those, like, sneaky multi-prize card turns that Dragapult and Jolteon are really used to. Suicune we saw in our game against Suicune Mirror that Blizzard Rondo is quite an efficient attack, and in the first game, we saw that like we prized a couple surfing Pikachu V. Um, this kind of fills in as a great backup attacker. And similar to the Ice Rider Suicune deck, we can go three prize cards, two prize cards, three prize cards to force our opponent to draw an extra two prize cards per game if we're able to time it correctly. It doesn't always work out like that, but that's uh, the dream. And I think Suicune V is really good. We got a cape of toughness for that reason. Um, searching out energies with capacious bucket got a decent healthy bit of energies we can always get them back with melanie or raihan or frost Lass. so we have a lot of ways to power up our pokemon and overall like the deck is just really meant to search out what you need surfing pikachu v max on board snipe and attack have suikun as a backup attacker overall being a fairly efficient deck a little bit um cost heavy three energies is tough in this format where most pokemon are attacking for two water energies or two of kind of any other energies but max surfer i think is worth it and if you haven't picked up this card already i recommend picking up cards to build this deck online it's not only incredibly fun i think it could be really effective as well um better than some of the current top 10 decks that we have in formats and that's what we got going on for this video today, peeps. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it, seeing exactly what Surfing Pikachu could do, and maybe learn something about the deck. The deck's well positioned in this format, probably more than most people think it is. Um, I'm not necessarily saying it's the best deck that I'd be running out to play to a tournament tomorrow, but I'm certainly not saying that it's not a potential option. So go ahead and give it a whirl. The deck list is in the description, and if you're missing any of the cards for this deck, feel free to go to ptcgostore.com, plug in code ZLASAGE5, the discount's also in the description. Thanks so much for watching, peeps. Have yourself a great one. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's become a channel member. It's one of those things where I appreciate every single person who watches my videos, and I mean, that's really where it counts, but for the channel members, they've gone out of their way to financially support me, and I truly appreciate that gesture. It's one of those things when I started channel memberships up on my channel, and I, I just didn't know if anyone was ever going to do it, so I truly appreciate everyone taking the plunge, taking a leap of trust, and investing in me as a content creator truly makes a difference for me each and every month. If you haven't already thought about becoming a channel member, you might want to contribute to the channel, and I do put everything back into the channel to make it the best possible place to watch for Pokemon TCG content. Again, I truly appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. Cheers. I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. 
and my goal with this channel is to spread my love of the game and knowledge with our entire Pokemon TCG community. If you haven't already, help Signal Boost this video to other Pokemon TCG fans by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we reach our goals really soon. Check out this recommended video, and have yourself a great day. Thanks.